Well, Dr. Crew, congratulations on being honored as one of the nation's top five urban school systems. What do you hope to accomplish in Miami by introducing entrepreneurship into a school curriculum? I think what I'd really like to accomplish is to get the notion of um, public schooling to become aimed or oriented at uh, the global economy. That we actually have to create a curriculum and a stair step, if you will, uh, to an economy that has gotten incredibly complex, uh, very fast moving, and um, that our schools ultimately have to be that stair step in every dimension of, uh, of what they offer our young people. You come from a business education background yourself. Uh, how does that play into the faith that you have and the value of entrepreneurship education? Well, yeah, it does. I mean, I went to Babson College um, in Massachusetts, and I uh, learned um, both then and have, uh, you know, sort of continued that through um, my learning as, as a youngster in, in New York with my father, that there is a relationship between effort and earning. But you actually have to be fairly knowledgeable um, about both. Uh, that you have to understand um, that you uh, bring a certain degree of knowledge to a task and that that knowledge um, can be ultimately uh, a good deal of the, the reason that you get what you earn. I think that the business community um, has always actually wanted to have uh, their, their oar in this water of providing different opportunities for youngsters uh, in this country uh, but frankly not being able to find very many uh, who were prepared, who were academically prepared to be able to do this. We've got to completely overhaul and redesign uh, American public schools and we've got to be able to do it with an eye toward a whole level, a whole new level of occupational adequacy, a whole new level of academic preparation and academic adequacy. I honestly think that there's a civic literacy or a civic adequacy component of this that we have to inject into this conversation. And to a large extent, there's a really, I mean, you want somebody who's a good person and, and that there's a, a sense of personal uh, adequacy that, that our youngsters need to perfect, if you will. When did you first become aware of NIFTI, the uh, National Foundation for Teaching Entrepreneurship? I first became aware of uh, NIFTI um, when Steve Mariotti, uh, with whom I uh, went to college, um, called and said, you know, I was the chancellor of New York City Schools at the time, and he said, you know, I'd really like to talk with you more about um, ways by which this could empower uh, children, particularly in the urban centers around this country. He put forward what I thought of was a really revolutionary idea of applying the learning into or through the projects that these students would do and making it as completely reality-based as possible. So they learned issues related to marketing. They learned the issue of building a business plan. They had to ultimately come up with a good concept um, and do market trials and really try to figure out what, uh, how the profit and loss statement would look at the end of the first six months and so forth. And they really, really, really put every single aspect of what they learn in a school to work. And it went to work for them around math, science, um, language, language arts, um, and they were incredibly powerful. So the whole idea behind Nifty, the whole notion of being able to give youngsters an opportunity to see where that robust person, that well-heeled, well, -heeled, well um, uh, thought of an articulate young person is now able to be the driver of their own dreams uh, and they have a skill set to match. That's a powerful notion in any community, but particularly in those communities that have, uh, that have been very poor. How early do you see entrepreneurship training beginning? It's never too early to start. I think it easily can be um, implemented as a part of the curriculum at an elementary school. It clearly can be implemented at home from saving money to helping students understand uh, the relationship between their own effort and what they get for uh, that effort um, by uh, really reinforcing just good home values about uh, work ethic, about timeliness, about producing something and it has worth and that they in fact uh, bring that worth with them by virtue of what they know and how they execute it. Over time, uh, will every student have at least one entrepreneurship course? 
Yes, I think the goal is that over time we would end up with students having at least some entrepreneurship experience. Um, and that could be through our uh, internship uh, programs that we're now in the process of, uh, of putting in place throughout this entire district. Um, or it potentially could be that they view the internship as a segue for going into their own post-secondary institution where they would then study exactly what they want to do with their careers. But the idea is that there needs to be a way where our students participate as actively as they can in entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship experiences as a natural core part of their high school experience. Do you see this expanding across the nation in the near future? You know, I do see this expanding across the nation um, in the near term. A and here's why. Um, America is looking for a way to be globally competitive. And schools are the engine of this economy. I mean, it is the one intellectual feeding place, if you will, where most of us, particularly the public school sector, where most of us travel to gain our knowledge and skills that we then parlay into the larger world. So the idea of making that experience as relevant and as powerful as we possibly can, giving students the world, as is our motto here in Miami, but giving them the world by virtue of providing them with the experiences and the contextual knowledge to know what to do, how to do it, how to dress, how to be appropriately uh, timely in your, in, your, in your arrival or in your exiting, how to finish a task. No matter what it may be, all of these things become part of building students' skills for being competitive in a larger world. No one has the, uh, the, the corner market on being able to teach this. This is every parent's responsibility because th this is really about how you, as a young person, take to the task um, of building your own dreams and making them happen. And that can happen uh, very, very early in life and you can start to build those uh, sensibilities and those uh, core notions in young people uh, as they grow through elementary, middle, and high school.